excitement is building as the world prepares to mark 50 years, 50 years since Neil Armstrong took one giant leap for mankind in the historic moon landing. Sky News is taking a look back at where the space race began. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Apollo astronauts Roger Chaffee, Edward White and Gus Grissom lose their lives. 1300 hours Florida time, January 27, 1967. Launch pad 34, Kennedy Space Center, Cape Canaveral. Apollo 1 commander Gus Grissom enters the command module atop the giant Saturn rocket. He's followed by pilot Roger B. Chaffee and the mission's senior pilot Ed White. They're aboard for one of the final tests for the planned February 21 launch, a plugs-out simulation to determine whether the module can operate normally on its internal supply. In a later inquiry, crew support staff described the trio as being a bit down, not wanting to be there. Instead of being ready for a test where they usually just get up and bounce out the door, it was, just, it, it was something they didn't want to do. As Grissom hooked up to the oxygen and communication lines, he reported a strange odour. And as engineers pumped in pure oxygen, he reported difficulties in communicating with mission control. Hey, how are we going to get the moon if we can't talk between three buildings? I can't hear a thing you say it. Jesus Christ. At 18.30 hours, mission control put the countdown on hold at T-minus 10. A minute later... Stunned silence in the blockhouse. Outside crews rushed to try to free the men. Nothing could be done. Most of their suits were still white. Uh, you did not look in and see charred bodies. The pad where Grissom, Chaffee and White died is now a memorial. Lieutenant Colonel Virgil Grissom, US Air Force, and Lieutenant Commander Roger Chaffee are buried at the Arlington National Cemetery. Lieutenant Colonel Edward White is interred at West Point Military Academy.